What's up, everybody? It's Farva with Cards with Farva. Hey, just want to let you guys know that I just uh, bought a small collection. Um, paid more than $10, paid less than $50 for this collection. And uh, it was um, a mixture of mostly tops with a little bit of Don Russ in it. And uh, what really struck me um, to reach out to this person, <clears throat> excuse me, getting over a little cold here, uh, you know, the pictures that they posted, uh, as you can see, here's a Pete Rose. Um, this is one of them that caught my interest. Uh, they were asking uh, almost $100 for this collection. Um, I was able to get them down, like I said, to above 10 but below 50 um, So let's kind of go through. I believe that I made one heck of a deal, probably one of the best collections that I bought. Uh, there was about 2,000 cards um, between 1970 and uh, 19, I want to say 83, um, but I'll just go through some of the some of the best finds that I have. I'm still going to go through a lot of the other ones and uh, hopefully bring those to another video. So uh, let's just go through these. So here we got a Pete Rose, and this is a, I believe it's an 81 tops, right? 81 tops. I won't go through it years, but just kind of let you see what I have here. Here's a Mike Schmidt. Mr. October, Reggie Jackson, Nolan Ryan, can you believe Nolan Ryan never won a Cy Young, I can't believe that, there we go, George Brett, Ricky Henderson, George Brett and Ricky Henderson, their rookie cards are definitely on my uh, must have list. Same thing with this man, Mr. Rod Carew. Had a chance to see him at a tw uh, Twins game one time. Didn't get a chance to go up and talk to him. But uh, seemed to be very uh, pleased with fans coming up to him and um, engaging the conversation with him. So, yeah, definitely want to get his rookie card as well. Here's a uh, strikeout leader. So this is 1980 tops, And uh, Snow and Ryan. The Wizard, Ozzie Smith. Frank Viola, um, I just I just like him. He's, I've met him uh, one or two times. He's just a really nice guy. Fernando Venezuela. Uh, I remember having this rookie card a long time ago. Unfortunately, my uh, collection, uh, my dad and I had, had worked on. Unfortunately, uh, we lost that. Um, but uh, the, you know, it's not the greatest centered card. But you know, it's it's his rookie card. Gonna go on another list here. Another stack, I mean. There we go. You can see right there, Mr. Harold Baines, newly elected to the Hall of Fame. Jerry Kuzman. Now, Jerry Kuzman. I actually played golf with Gary uh, Jerry Kuzman one time at a celebrity golf tournament I was working. Um, and the people that he was supposed to play with didn't show up. Um, the whole team didn't show up. So uh, me just being his driver... Uh, they asked if I had a set of clubs, and I absolutely, I always carried them in my trunk of my car. So we drove the cart out to my car, picked my clubs up, and I played uh, 18 holes with Jerry. And uh, yeah, his rookie card is uh, alongside uh, Mr. Nolan Ryan, so there you go. Another Jerry Kuzman. And another Jerry Kuzman. I just like him. He, again, he's he's not a Hall of Famer, but I mean, he's he is such a nice guy when I talked with him. Uh, just told me a lot of stories from back in the day, and uh, Tony Perez. I try to keep these guys in order. Another Tony Perez. And again, these are all of the cards uh, that were in that small um, collection I just bought. Another Tony Perez there. Another Tony Perez. Paul Molitor. Uh, again, I played uh, nine holes with Paul Molitor uh, at the same Sudbury Golf Tournament a different year. Uh, I was his driver, and uh, one of the companies that he was it was uh, he was golfing with, one of their executives was kind of being a jerk and being mouthy and kept making comments, and finally I just told the guy, you know, hey, you know, you spend more time in the sand than David Hasselhoff did on the beach, so, you know, if you can outdrive me the next, you know, the next hole, you know, I'll be your caddy, and you can drive with uh, Mr. Molitor here. 
and uh, yeah, I crushed the ball, um, and uh, yeah, wound up golfing the last nine holes with uh, Mr. Molitor. Even got his uh, autograph on the scorecard and on a golf ball. Yes, I got Paul Molitor's autograph on a golf ball. Uh, another Paul Molitor. Couldn't be a nicer guy. Just a really, really down-to-earth guy. We talked baseball. We talked life. We talked about our kids. He's just a really nice guy. Gaylord Perry. He's one of my favorite pitchers. Uh, I've got his jersey for when he played with the Mariners. Uh, yeah, just love, just loved his style. Loved his swagger. Uh, No-nonsense kind of guy. So I was with the Padres. Here he's with the Yankees. Yankees again. Mariners. Uh, Del Murphy. Man, I don't understand why he's not in the Hall of Fame yet. This guy, his numbers speak for themselves. Del Murphy. I had his rookie card at one time, too. It's definitely one to get back. Uh, it was one we lost in that, I lost in that collection. And there we go. This is a victory leader, 81. So this is an 82 tops. We've got Tom Seaver, Jack Morris. Uh, met Jack Morris again at a, a same uh, celebrity tournament, golf tournament. Um, and uh, I was sitting in the clubhouse, and he was sitting at the bar. And I, the person I was sitting with is like, that guy looks like a baseball player. And I looked over, and I go, well, that's Jack Morris. And he's like, no, nah, it's not Jack Morris. And I'm like, yeah, that's Jack Morris for sure. And... Uh, he looked over and smiled, and I go, see, it's Jack Morris. And the guy goes, that's not Jack Morris. And Jack Morris goes, yeah, I am Jack Morris. So I went over and bought uh, Mr. Morris a, a drink, and he signed a baseball for me, and we BSed about the World Series. And, and yeah, again, just a great guy. A lot of these guys are pretty pretty approachable if you do it in the right manner. If you just walk up to them like your best friends, you know, I can see how they're going to be a little bit standoff, standoffish. But, you know, you give them the respect, you know, as you would per pretty much anybody else. You know, they're not, you know, they're not a trained monkey, I guess you can say. Um, they're people, too, you know, and they, they're there for a certain reason. And, and uh, you know, we'll see. It just depends. You give them respect, they'll give you respect right back. And I know that for certain, so. So, sorry about that, guys. Again, I, I'm working on getting a new camera. I'm just using this with my phone. But I'm working to get a camera and a tripod. And that way I can, you know, set up more professionally and give you guys better videos and stuff. So, Fergie Jenkins. Now, I really didn't know um, a lot about Fergie Jenkins until I was, uh, you know, watching um, Eric Jabs and John Jabs and, and a couple of guys, uh, you know, and just Fergie. So, so the name... Definitely piqued my interest. So I went looking and, and checked him out online. And then I uh, went back at a couple of my other card uh, collections and found that I had one or two. But then when I bought this new collection, I mean, Fergie Jenkins, here you go. Definitely like to get his rookie card. There you go. There's another one there. And another one there. Some of these that might be duplicates, you know. Uh, I know I do have multiples uh, of these, uh, some of these guys, but I didn't put them in, in hard, you know, top top loaders. Uh, Raleigh Fingers, best mustache in the bigs. I don't care what anybody says. That mustache is fantastic, and I wish I could grow one like that. Oh, man, I would sport that all day long, but, uh, yeah, I just don't... Uh, I just don't have the ability, but absolutely the greatest mustache of all time. There's another Raleigh Fingers right there, the Padres. Here's are the Brewers. There's another one with the Padres. There you go. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. And here we go, Phil Necro, another one of my all-time favorite pitchers. Mr. Knuckleballer. Uh, again, I wouldn't, you know, just, uh, he would juice the ball for sure. You know, I don't know if he'd scuff it, Vaseline it, whatever, snot. But, uh, yeah, him and his brother are two of my favorite pitchers as well. You know, and we, sadly, we lost Joe. But, uh, you know, I just, guys, that they just don't make pitchers like this anymore. You know, they really don't. Atlanta Braves leaders, you know, batting and pitching. You got Dell and Phil. 
You know, you don't see pitchers like this anymore. You just don't. There you go. That's yeah, a funny picture, I think. <laughs> I don't know if it was like maybe a, um, I don't know, like a one for the team or whatever, you know. And all of a sudden it got out and they decided to use this one, but yeah, it's kind of funny. Eddie Murray, one of the best. You know, I just, I, I loved Eddie Murray. Um, him, Tony Gwynn, Wade Boggs, all just great hitters, you know. I just really liked watching them play when I was younger. Um, my son and I will talk about pitchers and hitters and I just tell them you know you don't have guys like this around anymore you really don't um I'm not taking anything away from the current ball players but I just don't think they have some of the grit that these guys used to have back in the day okay there we go there's that Mike Schmidt and Eddie Murray and we'll look at one more little canister here there we go we got Jim Palmer now, see, this is a duplicate card, but I decided to use it for Jim. Now, the one, again, not great centered. Um, it has a little bit of stuff around the corners, you know, but like I said, I, I just I love baseball cards. I did a lot of collecting when I was younger. I bought my very first collection when I was like 13 years old for 20 bucks, and I pulled amazing cards out of it. That's a really bad cut right there. Uh, but, again, this is Don Russ's first year. Uh, and so I'm surprised that, you know, we weren't getting half faces. And I know uh, Eric Jabs had, had actually, uh, 81, it showed uh, two different variances of the same card. You know, so pretty much what this is, is it's the same picture. They just, with this one right here, they just blew it up and, you know, cropped it to where it's more close-up of him. And here's Pete Rose. Again, you know, betting yeah he bet on baseball did he bet on his teams did he throw games I don't believe so I don't think there's enough evidence saying that he did um he did admit to betting on baseball but a lifetime ban I think that's ridiculous um I really I just say it, it's horrible this man is the greatest hitter of our, of our of our of our of our time you know and he should be in the hall of fame for sure no asterisks nothing because he wasn't juiced or anything yeah yeah so what he bet big whoop you know you got guys who uh who done a lot worse things and they're in the Hall of Fame or you know so but betting who cares another Pete Rose now 81 I think there was three Pete Rose cards in here so here's one 81 Don Russ here's another one here's another one you know one one uh, ball player today what he needs to do is he needs to watch a uh, game game film of uh, Pete Rose is Manny Machado Pete Rose, they didn't call him Charlie Hustle for nothing. You know, that man sprinted to first base on a walk. And that's the type of uh, ball player that he needs to be. Now, not in the Hall of Famer, not the greatest guy, but this is the Mad Hungarian. Just watching film on this guy pitch, another fantastic mustache. But this guy was so intimidating. He would just watch you, you know, at that plate. Uh, and he let you know that, you know, you're standing at his house on his front door and he's going to, you know, brush you back if you dig in too close. Just loved his tenacity, loved the way he looked at guys. You know, um, this again, you don't see ball players like this anymore. Here's an 81 Don Russ. Yeah, check out that. Look at those chops. That's just fantastic. There's a Rod Crew, 81 Don Russ. Another 81 Don Russ. Yeah, this is another 81 Don Russ. Best hitters. Look how young they were. There you go, Rod Crew. California Angels leaders. leaders. And the man, Nolan Ryan. Oh, I almost got his rookie card for about 30 bucks one time back in 1995 and I was just about to check out and some guy came up and uh, for some reason was looking at what I was buying and goes how much is, are you getting this one for and the lady ringing me up she goes what was in the case and it, with the other ones around was for $30 it's like no 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 this is his rookie card and um uh, yeah, he goes, you won't be getting it for $30. And I, I played dumb, but I knew what I was getting. If I would have gotten it with it for a deal, you know, that would have been great. Because it wasn't marked or anything, and everything else around it, um, 
had thirty dollars on it, so you know I was just gonna go with it and play stupid. But yeah, I could have been wrong for it. But what a what a steal! <laughs> uh, Johnny Bench, there we go. Saw that Eric Jabs pulled hit, got his rookie card, which is uh, a little envious, but I'd like to get that too. There's a little smudge down here by the S on the Reds. There's another Johnny Bench, another Johnny Bench, and another Johnny Bench, and another Johnny Bench. Okay, so as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, and I got five more things to go through. What I'm going to go ahead and do is make a second video and get that posted up. So um, stay tuned. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And if you can like and subscribe, that would be awesome. I don't expect to get you know a ton. I'd love to have you know you know a couple thousand subscribers you know over time. But you know if there's any any suggestions you guys have to make these better, by all means, please let me know. Please let me know. Uh, I just want to get better. I want to bring more uh, detail to, to the to the videos, bring more information to the videos. If you have any ideas of things I should maybe do, you know, maybe segments or something like that, let me know. Just give me some ideas, and uh, I'll look at everything, and uh, I, I'll try to reply as much as I can. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a great weekend.